Hi everyone, sorry I haven't uh, uploaded a video for quite a while. I've had a lot going on. Um, so here's where I am with my mental health. Um, CAS wants me to leave for London as soon as possible so I can get custody of my kids back. That's about five or six hours away and I've been um, hoping to try and get treatment here, but it doesn't look like there is anything for borderline personality disorder so um, I'm probably gonna leave in the next month or so for London um, and I'm hoping to go there and have better luck getting some outpatient or inpatient treatment for my disorder it uh, it sucks because I'm leaving my kids and I don't want them to think I'm abandoning them that, you know, I'm just going off to do my own thing. And, you know, everything I do is for my kids. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm not allowed to have full access to my kids. I can't uh, have them alone. Um, they can't be at the apartment unless their father's here. And it really, really sucks because I miss being with my kids. Um... And, and it's it's very, very depressing and hard. So uh, my meds have been up to, uh, um, increased because uh, I've had a lot of mental health issues recently. Um, you know, it's it's it sucks. But going to London, I think, is the best thing for me. I can um, get away, which is what I need, change the scenery, get the help I need, and then I can come back and hopefully get joint custody of my kids because I I want them to have their dad and me both in their lives and that's where I'm at right now. Um, I have put getting bottom surgery on hold just because it's just too much right now um, and I don't really need it, but I'm gonna work on getting a hysterectomy while I'm in London, because I think it'd be faster than trying to get one up here. I had a consultation sent off over a year ago, and I haven't heard back from the gynecologist for that, so I've known people to get um, hysterectomies down that way a lot faster. So that's what I need anyways before I could have my surgery, I have to be six months post-op before I can have uh, foul palsy, and that's what I'm leaning towards is getting that, and I have to go to Montreal for that, so that kind of sucks. It's another reason I've been putting it off hold is, um, you know, I have to get laser done on my arm or my leg. But I can't get the laser done anyways until I meet with the consultation for the doctor because they're like, just don't get it done on the off chance for your arm. If we don't use your arm, we could use your leg. So this is another reason. Um, yeah, so it's... At least I have my top surgery, and that's that was the main thing that I really, really, really wanted, and that's done, and I'm recovered. Um, the stitches have all been dissolve the the openings where they were is all closed off i've been back at the gym not as hard working hard as i usually do but you know i'm recovered um the tightness is gone i've been doing a lot of stretches anyways with my arms so i'm not tight you know as tight as i used to be and the pain's gone so i'm i'm fully healed i think from top surgery so the main thing now is just getting my mental health um, under control. And once that's done, I can get my life back on track because I want to come back here. I have a life. Um, I have somebody that I'm seeing that I care about. Um, I have to tell him that I have to go away for a few months, um, which sucks. But I, I've been holding off until I know for sure when I am going because we just started dating, so I ha he doesn't really know too much about my mental health. Um, but, yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, so 
that's why I haven't done any videos is because I've been too depressed and in a funk and I haven't had any downtime where I could just do videos and I didn't have anything really to say much but um, yeah so next time you see me I could be in London.